What's going on, Third Army? Joe here. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to use the Galaxy Die Pack to replicate the die we did for the special release for the Super Bowl. Included in the pack is gonna be three different colors of powder too. You're gonna to get neon blue, neon purple, and black. And also included will be a small can of marbling spray, which should be enough to do this die, and maybe one or two other ones. Let's get into it. First up, we're gonna to have to heat up some water, of course, because we are dying. So you wanna find a pot big enough that you can fill with water to submerge the head completely as we're gonna be dying the entire head. So fill that up, get it on the stove, because it will take some time to heat up that much water. With the water heating up, we're gonna get start on the marbling process. And this can has a special nozzle to it that sprays in a fan pattern. So we always wanna spray from left to right um, on whatever plane of the head we're doing. Um, if you go up and down, it'll kind of glob on, which is a look that we'll talk about later. But for the most part, you always kind of wanna spray with that fan in the left to right direction. Also, since we're going to be dyeing this three different colors, we don't want to cover the entire head. We want to leave a little bit more room to give you that really cool galaxy look. So you want to cover about 30% of the head for this first dip. When your water hits about 120 to 140 degrees, this doesn't have to be completely exact, but close enough to activate the dye itself. You want to open up your powder to packaging and dump all of its contents into the water and give it a nice stir to all of the particles that are dissolved. And once they're dissolved, you want to cover the pot and bring it up to 200 degrees, which is just below boiling. It should be have a nice simmer. With our dye bath all ready to go, we're gonna chuck the head in for five minutes and set a timer and pull it out after that five minutes. If we're happy with the color, we're good to go. If not, we're gonna keep putting it in for three minutes at a time till we are happy. With the neon blue perfect, we're gonna take it out of the pot and immediately rinse it underneath cold water and put it in the fridge. This just removes any extra pigment and also brings the temperature of the head down. With the head now cooling off, we're gonna dump the neon blue dye and we're gonna prepare the next color, which is going to be neon purple. And we're gonna repeat that same exact process we did for the blue. Once the head is cool to the touch, which will take about three to five minutes, we're gonna take it out of the fridge and we're gonna start the next marbling process. Each time you use the marbling spray, you wanna shake it for about 30 seconds just to make sure all of the paint is nice and mixed. And again, we're gonna be doing the same exact thing as we did for the neon blue. We're gonna do about 30% coverage with that fanning method from left to right and from right to left. With the marbling done and the dye bath ready, we're now gonna put the head in the neon purple. And again, we're gonna be doing it for five minutes. All right, so for the black, you're gonna forget everything I told you about your beautiful left to right and right to left motions of the can. And we're gonna really gunk it on. And what this does is it gives it a more irregular pattern for that blue and the purple, which gives you that cool galaxy look. And I like to go a little bit heavy because I don't really want a black galaxy head. I want a more of like a purpley blue galaxy head. So I'm gonna do about 50% coverage over the head. And again, how you do the marbling spray, how long you keep the dye in will change your galaxy. Um, so if you want a darker one, don't put as much marbling spray on and dye it longer in the black. If you want a more blue one, mask it more in the beginning. You can kind of do whatever you want. They're always gonna look cool and they're always gonna look different. So we're gonna do about 50% coverage. We're gonna kind of keep the can in kind of ugly spots to marble it up a little bit. And once we're happy with that and the dye bath is ready, we're gonna put it in for, as you guessed it, five minutes. After five minutes, we're gonna pull the head out of the black and run it under cold water and then throw it in the fridge. And again, after about three minutes, once it's cool, we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna start removing the marbling spray. Uh, this does take some time, but it's gonna reveal some really cool stuff underneath it. So take your time, do a good job and have a lot of fun with it. The best way to do this though, is to run it underneath warm water or hot water from your faucet and use the rough side of a sponge and you really just wanna go after it. And if you're having some issue removing some of the marbling spray in the nooks and crannies, you can use isopropyl alcohol, which is just rubbing alcohol, 70% and above works best. And then if you're having a really, really hard time, you can use acetone, but use it sparingly. And please don't be dangerous with it. Please use some supervision as it can be toxic. And after all of that scrubbing, you should end up with something like this. Well, of course I also strung it and put it on with the limited edition rips, but the dye itself should look something like this. And you'll have this awesome kind of blue, purple, black, globby, galaxy that like is imperfectly perfect and I absolutely love it. A lot of people don't like doing marbles because of the time involved, but I just think when you do them right, there's nothing quite like it because everything in lacrosse besides this mesh is very like clean and simple and plasticky. And when you make something look super organic like this and those crazy colors, I think it looks super fun. So the dye pack is available on our website along with the mesh as well, which is limited edition with we'll 100 pieces of this. And then of course, the new Rifts. This has our new coating process in it and this crazy color shift, which will have more info coming out soon and also has the new updated V2 Carbon as well. As always, I will put links and info to all of this in the description below. And I'd love to know in the comments what you think of this Galaxy die. If you guys learned something, please throw the video a like. That's everything. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the field.